In Anokin's view, it would be more like a picture traveling down each nerve, uh, uh, but uh, not necessarily uh, traveling at the at the time of the impulse, but uh, that each nerve would be transmitting complex information, not just just a bit. And uh, these quantum uh, related ideas, the essential uh, ideas there are uh, resonance and coherence, okay. uh, the um, uh, interrelatedness of uh, uh, things separated in space and time. Okay. And uh, those were part of biology back when uh, quantum, when uh, Gestalt uh, psychology was uh, uh, current in the um, 30s, 40s, and even into the 50s. People okay. were still mm -hmm. arguing uh, in favor of the Gestalt a as being an image having a space-filling uh, function in the brain in some way uh, reflecting the uh, spatial and temporal arrangement in the real world. Okay. Um, and uh, that was uh, developed at the same time that the field concept in embryology uh, was uh, the main line thinking. And all of those ideas uh, were replaced by a, a digitalization huh. and a mechanization of uh, a biological causality around b between 1945 and 1950. Um, and in that pre uh, computer uh, time, uh, quite a few people were talking about uh, the uh, uh, resonance from uh, sensory interactions. For example, in the nose, it would be a molecule vibrating, mm -hmm. uh, stimulating some kind of an analogous vibration uh, so that, in effect, the actual aroma of a molecule would be reproduced uh, along the nerve and in the brain, so that the brain itself would would contain the smell in effect. Or uh, when an image, when light uh, is absorbed by vitamin A uh, molecule in the retina, uh, it would excite a resonance uh, of, of a similar uh, luminous quality that would uh, travel down the nerve and be reproduced in the brain, so that uh, you, you, in the Gestalt view, you, you would actually have something like a luminous uh, event in the brain when you saw light in the world.